So, welcome to my poorly lit kitchen. I have decided that I'm going to try and relax around my YouTube channel a little bit. I keep being like, I need to make videos that are like well produced and about really interesting stuff that's well researched and I'm just, I'm just going to bake because why not? So last week I made bread for the first time and it went okay. So I'm now going to have a go at making pretzels. Okay, so first step, flour, yeast, sugar and salt in a bowl. All right, let's do it. Flour, yeast. 500 grams of white bread flour. And my sifting. I mean, I'm gonna mix a fair bit when I thought I'd really don't need to sift. I have to stop worrying that I'm not making the most amazing content in every video. Like, I like that my YouTube channel is like a showreel of all my best work. But there's gonna be some duds. There's gonna be some less interesting, more boring kind of sh things that I will do. And that's fine. And sometimes do it, just forcing yourself to make something, even when it's not particularly, not well, making a mess, great. Uh, even when it's not particularly exciting or, you know, new or whatever. Sometimes that forces you to try new things and you can't with something you really like, so. I mean, I, I considered doing a make a video every day or every other day through June kind of challenge to force myself to create stuff, but I think that's that's a bit excessive for me. So I'm going to go back to trying to get at least a weekly video up. <laughs> get a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put it on the other side of the bowl to where the yeast is. I learned that from watching British Bake Off. There's a good lump of sugar. Let's get that out. Da, 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 da. So, what have you been up to? Yeah, what's, what's going on in your life? I, I'm several months post submitting my thesis, still waiting for a date for my viva. Um, my supervisor, um, not supervisor, examiners have been confirmed officially, so that's progress. 50 grams, that's not gonna be enough. That's not like 25, what are you doing? 30, 30, I was close. Don't know why I'm gesturing with a knife. <laughs> 49. I'm just gonna stick it in the microwave because I can't be asked to get the hob on. Mix it to form a dough and then we're gonna turn out and knead for 15 minutes. So get ready for a montage soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and now the kneading begins. Maybe I shouldn't have added all the liquid, but maybe it's meant to be quite a wet dough. Who knows? So you can make fun of this bad technique, but it's very sticky and it makes it hard. <laughs> Now we're working with it. Well, I mean, this feels pretty, pretty good, to be honest. That's nice and smooth, it's stretchy. That feels like a good, a good slap, so. <laughs> So, are we lightly greasing the bowl? Is that the usual? Lightly oil bowl, cover with oil cling film, set aside until doubled in size for about an hour. Let's do that. Perfectly the same size. Two, four, six, eight. Yes, I can count. But hopefully they are close enough. Right. Okay, so about sixty centimeters, right? So about yay long. I'm trying to think. How far? Like a ruler? Two rulers? About yay. Cool. Maybe, maybe, maybe a smidge. A smidge more. A smidge more rolling action. Okay, right, so how do we make a pretzel shape? So a pretzel is like a U, and then it like crosses over, twists a bit, and so kind of like that. Close enough to a pretzel shape. So I believe after I've made them all into pretzel shapes, I will leave them to prove for about 20 minutes. And then we do the boiling and then the baking. So, I don't know, what does the boiling achieve? Does it help sort of form that outer, like, not quite crust, but like, 
some like that, or is it something to do with the chewiness? Because you boil bagels, don't you? And you've got a not quite the same texture, but a sort of similarity. Okay, so now that needs about two minutes. I think some of them are looking more pretzely than others, but it's pretty good. All right, it's going to be noisy now because I'm doing heat stuff. Some bicarb of soda. Whoa, that does fizz up. Okay, so we gently lower it in. So about 20 seconds per side. Um, as you can tell, they did expand to become more like buns, but that's fine because next time I will roll them out much thinner because they looked fine in their uncooked state, but obviously I should have thought they're going to rise quite a bit, they're going to puff up, these are going to, these holes are going to vanish. So yeah, roll them out thinner next time, learn. But they taste great, as you can tell there's a gap. I have had one, just split it with my boyfriend and it was very good. So that is a success. I'm very happy with melding two recipes together when I didn't know what I was doing, went great. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed this, whatever this is, casual, casual cooking. Sure, let's go with that. Uh, <laughs> how do I end this kind of video? Thanks for watching, I've done some other stuff. Ooh, I've left a perfect space. How well planned of me. Uh, <laughs> I'll stick some links here to other videos and um, yep, yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you soon.